Amir didn't get any wickets in the first innings, so he'll be pretty keen to get one here. Round the wicket, the pull shot's on again, the man's placed beautifully, and Amir takes the wicket of the Aussie skipper. That's why I was never captain. Forget I ever spoke. <laughs> All right, I'll speak. <laughs> Great play, good clash, young fast bowler, veteran Australian legend, round the wicket, men placed exactly where they wanted him, and Ponting obliges. This is the type of contest we're going to see from here on in. Australia want quick runs, Pakistan are a chance of getting wickets. Two for 32. Muhammad Amir firing in. Oh, he's angled it in, he's, oh, he's been given. What will Hussey do? It'll feel bad, but he thinks he's hit it. He's reviewing. Hussey's reviewed in the first innings, and now review in the second innings himself. He's asked for a challenge. It looked close. The Pakistan bowlers are fired up. They're bowling at the stumps. This looked close. It's just whether he hit it. I think it looked like it hit him in line. Let's see if that foot... It's a legal delivery. Yes. If it's not a hit, he's in trouble. Needs to be an edge. Oh, it has to be a hit. Hussey wouldn't, wouldn't refer this. Review it, I'm sure. Turn your back, Mike. It's wrong edge. Turn it, turn it. So where's it pitched? It's pitched outside off, which doesn't mean anything. It's hit him. Umpire's call, possibly in line, and it's... Umpires call whether it would go on to hit the wickets, so the original decision will stand. Is that right? The umpire's decision stands. Mike Hussey will go, and a review's gone. There's two umpires call. Will the umpire want to review, want to reverse anything? He doesn't. Billy Doctor says for the second time in the match. Hussey is gone. Three for 40. I just wonder if Mike Hussey thought it must have been high, because there was no obvious inside edge to it. So he's immediately called for the referral once he's been given, the same as he did in the first innings, but he hasn't hit it. He must have felt it was awfully high. But on the re replay, it was one of those ones that was a 50-50. Australia, three for 40. Got him, fell for it. Well, that's a surprise. Clark finally lost patience to the wide delivery, but a genuine nick through. He's caught behind, and it's four for 143. Yes, well, he certainly persisted with that line outside off stump. Clark getting a little impatient. That's actually swung a uh, reverse swing. It's around about that time, 40 overs have been bowled. It moved away a little bit from Clark. And it was a thick edge. So uh, a wicket uh, for Amir, the end of Michael Clark, out for 37. Got it with pace. What a ripper. Four wickets for Mohamed Amir. Marcus North goes to a gem of a delivery. He's good to watch, isn't he? The youngster, he tears in time and time again and this one was just right up there and with pace with a big back lift he came down late and chopped it back nicely bowled and a good surprise to give a batsman marcus north departs he's upset with himself you would have thought he'd got himself going in the previous over five for one six one well bowled what a beauty the first five-wicket haul in Test match cricket for a sparkling young talent. Grew up idolising Wazam Akram. Wazam Akram identified him a couple of years ago as a real prospect, and we're seeing him flourish here in Australia. What a great moment for the youngster. And the ball is just reversing slightly, just enough to grab the outside edge. Beautiful bowling. So Haddon... Daddles, 6 for 161.